Oh dear, what have I been doing? Don't panic. It looks worse than it actually is. <laughs> so, I've done a temporary bypass on the ignition. Um, and then I figured I'd open up the battery pack just to see what was uh, going on in there, to see if there was two or three in there. To see if I could charge them up separately, as I don't have the proper charger. And I can, but there's actually three of those big buggers in there, which explains the heavy, the, um, the heaviness, the weight of them. So there's one there as well, I've taken out already. Okay, so Monkey Nuts wants his grub. I'll do that while I'm in here. Oh, his dish is empty. I'll just plonk you there for the moment. While I fill his dish up, and then I can explain what I've been doing. And explain what I've been doing all day as well. So, I've got this one on charge. I'm going to have to charge all three up, one after the other. So, uh, that 23 volts I was getting was uh, rather low. It should be 36. Almost a... Pretty much, no, more than 10 volts lower than it should have been. So, I've got this one charging. Just gonna uh, check that we've got juice coming out of the charger. We've got 13.2 volts coming out of the charger. Right, how's our battery looking after about half an hour on charge? 9.9 .9 volts, so it's taking charge. That's good. Very, very good. None of them are that far below the 12 volt mark. And the fact they are still uh, holding charge is a good sign as well. The date sticker. There's a date. Is there a date sticker on this one? Is that what that yellow one is? No. There is a date sticker on. The one I've got on the computer table, which uh, says October 03. So, it, so yeah, I was right. It's, that would make this bike 10, about 13 years old. Well, yeah, I have to say, it's not in bad condition for a 13 year old bike. I'm not surprised at 13 years the keys have got lost. But like I said, I should be able to bypass. All I could see on the ignition was that these two shorted together and that's your mains in so that's how I've wired it temporarily going by what I could see on the ignition switch that's why I dismantled everything. It's a bit fiddly to get it in because there's a big ass connector there which is actually coming off. I'll take it off for now. Like that. See? When there isn't a lot of slack on that cable, <laughs> that, there's a lot of wires and I think some of them go down to the motor. And this is obviously the regulator and whatnot. Uh, one wire will go down to whatever that is down there and one comes up to your controller. Your throttle. Which will probably just be a variable resistor of sorts built into that. So uh, it wasn't working, that's why I'm charging the batteries up. Because I thought I'd take it apart and just check the voltage on each battery. And uh, they've all got charge. Some a little bit lower than the others, but uh, I will get them up. Well, the cycle charge actually on these says about 14 volts, so that's probably what I'll get this up to. Oh, that's charging. So Maybe 13 and a half, 14 volts, I think I'll get it up to. Yeah, cyclic use, 14 to 15 volts. Standby use, 13.5 to 13.8 volts. 12 volt, 12 amp hour. Bloody heavy one of them alone, and there's three of these bastards in there. No wonder that was heavy. Anyway, as far as today's go, I've had today rather, not today's. No idea why I put an S on the end. Anyway, I've had a good day. 
in there with the eyes again. It's like I'm some sort of psychopath or something when I do that, innit? Or I'm high on something. High on caffeine, that's what it is. I always get headaches when I stop drinking the Coca-Cola, which is why I had a headache yesterday. Anyway, the kids' bike sold last night. Someone put an offer in and I accepted it, and they collected it lunchtime today, 12 o'clock. Just before, actually, they turned up, so good timing on their part. I had gone downstairs, one, to wait for them, and two... While I was waiting, I had to oil the chain anyway, and I thought I'd have another go at fixing the puncture on my Claude Butler, which I did. Turned out, it's not the rim at all, it's absolutely fine. When I fixed the puncture last time, when I changed the tyre and the tube, I went for a little bike ride down to the bank. It seems like I picked something up in the tyre on that ride, and it punctured it again, because uh, I found something rather sharp in the tyre. So I'd pumped the tube up, and the hole was on the tyre side of the tube, not the rim. So I checked the tyre, and there it was, something sharp. I managed to, I couldn't get it out, but I managed to break it down enough so it wasn't protruding through the tyre anymore. Um, put another tube in, and it stayed up, touch wood. <laughs> um, but anyway, when they came to pick up the kids' bike, I had my um, single-speed bike I built. The red and white one. That was leaning up against the wall beside it and they took interest in it and wanted to know one if it was for sale. And I said yes, and they said how much, so I sort of thought for a minute and I said Give me twenty like you did for the other bike and you can take it. So they did. So I made forty pounds this morning from selling two bikes. And they've left me positive feedback as well and said, see you again, so maybe they're gonna come out of some more, I don't know. I've just put one up. Let's see if I can actually get I've got a photo of it on the desktop now, so instead of me go downstairs and show you, I can show you up here. Here we go. It's old, but it isn't a bad bike. It's got steel wheels, probably because of the style of brakes used and because of its age though you could easily upgrade that to alloy if you want you would just have to change the brake blocks to ones that are meant for alloy rims not steel uh, but it really isn't a bad bike it does ride nice too tall for me that's uh, quite a tall frame a t probably a 21 22 inch frame maybe even a bit bigger no I would actually guess a 22 inch frame but uh, yeah, the whole thing works, it functions. I'm not asking a great deal for it, I'll take 24. I've put it up um, pretty much like I did the kids' bike. 25, or oh, best offer. Because I think it's worth at least the 20 quid. Um, I changed the handlebar and stem for something that didn't look as shit. Put the mudguard back on, because that fell off in the car. I bent the front reflector, and uh, one thing I did do, which I did after I took this photo, I put a pair of uh, reflectors on, so I took this front one off, which isn't coming up very well on the camera, uh, just so as I could put a matching pair on. But yeah, she works, it's good to go. The seat was at a funny angle, <laughs> I've just realised. Uh, the the um, ladies one I've got is the same brand, Professional. But just the ladies version. Done it again, I want to close it, not minimise it. Um, aside from that, the silver fox has been fixed because I used some of that money to uh, go get the bearings. I did take it for a quick ride down the road and naturally the bearings came a smidge loose, but uh, they can do that while they bed in, so I'll just. Uh, Tighten that up again before I take it for a spin. Uh, I've got to loosen the brakes off because they're far too bloody tight. Raise the seat a little bit, then I can use it for a bit and decide if I like it or not. Um, I also did the green rally today, well, that's fixed. 
probably going to put some new rear brake blocks in because they're rather worn. Um, someone's put them in <laughs> without lining them up on the wheel rim. So they've put them so they're just a little lower than the edge of the rim. So they've worn a lip in the brake pads. And it was, when I first rode it, squeaking like hell. So new brake blocks, I think. But uh, yeah, that's working fine. Gears worked. I didn't have. I had to do a little adjusting on the derailleur because the um, I stuck it in the first, pulled on the grip shift too hard, and the chain went straight down the back of the free wheel. Because I, I I expect that's because um, someone set it up on a seven speed when it should have been a six speed. So I just adjusted the uh, screw on the derailleur to stop it going too far up. But that was it. That works. I'm gonna. It's got bar ends on. I was gonna take them off and move all the handlebar grip and whatnot up, but uh, I've got some bar ends, so I think I'm gonna change them. I've got some nice silver ones I can put on it. I put a short seat post in it as well, so I can put the seat all the way down, so I can get on it. Jeez, that seat was high. Long seat post on that as well. Don't think that was the original. Anyway, that pretty much sums up my day. Um, I've got that box of cars. I'm going to book for collection Wednesday. I'm not going anywhere, so I'll go down to the bank tomorrow and just stick a tenner in my bank account. And uh, then I'll come back here and book it through my Hermes and give them one last chance. And I will stay here all day. And I will wake up early. Lots of finger wagging. <sighs> well, I can't do much at the minute. It's 9.30 at night, so I don't really want to bang around doing anything. Can't really do anything else to the electric bike. Pumped the tyres up on that as well. I forgot to mention that. And took the um, rear mirror off. Rear view mirror. Uh... One so I can actually shift the gears. Oh, that reminds me, it won't go in the first. It clicks like hell because it wants to go in the first, but it's. Oh, sorry, Nemo, I just caught his nose. But, uh. It's such a small fraction out that it won't quite go in the first, so. I think. All I'd have to do is unscrew the cable adjuster a bit on the derailleur, and that should, uh. go in. I suppose I could do that. My well, tyres seem to have held air, which is a good thing. I've got to put that mess back together. Once I've got those batteries... Oh, actually. I suppose I could put it together now, then it's job done. I've dropped two screws on the floor, so I've got to find those. Because I need them to put it back together. Yeah. Well, I found out what the other keyhole is for on the other side. That's for a lock to lock the battery in. Um, I did look on eBay for um, a new ignition switch that I could just wire straight into that, but uh, the only place I could find one was in the USA, and that was bloody expensive. More than what I'm willing to pay for this. So, uh, And that was without the shipping. The shipping was quite pricey as well. Um... So, that sort of threw that plan out of the window, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd have just replaced it. But getting parts like that for things like these bikes seem to be nigh on impossible. I couldn't find many spare parts. Not like that. Not spare ignition switches and whatnot. So, if that... Re I'm guessing where all the wires connect to is the regulator. Of some description. I regulate the current for the motor. That's what I'm guessing that's for. As well as the um, battery low and high meter. And, uh, I'll sort something out. If I can get it to work then I'll put a proper switch on it. Um, I might get a push button switch and a click, clicky push button switch. Might go in that gap a bit better. I may have to put some washers on there. But uh, it would probably work better. 
but uh, yeah, I didn't want to spend. Uh, I think it's over twenty pounds for a new thirty-six volt charger. Yeah, no, no, it's got three batteries in there. It's not a twelve volt system. It's a thirty-six. Uh, obviously, quite an old bike for two thousand and three. But uh, in good condition. Hmm. Bit of rust around the edges of the mud guard, but who would you expect? It's a mud guard. It collects water. It's gonna uh, get a bit rusty. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'll leave that battery on charge till about midnight and see what it'll go up to. I've got it on fast charge, so it shouldn't take too long. Lead acid batteries are pretty stable, so an ordinary car charger like that should uh, be fine. Well, I've not had any problems yet, touch wood. <laughs> don't want to talk that up, I don't want one of them going bang in the kitchen. Shouldn't do. Right. I've got to remember how to uh, put these back in. Because I took all the wires off and then I forgot. Because I'm a dickhead like that. It's like two of them connectors on the um, regulator unit. I don't even know if I've got them round the right way because I couldn't remember which way I took them off. I think they are. Well, actually, no, I think I had them round the right way the first time. Well, it's either going to work or it isn't. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'll just disconnect the battery. Rather quick. <laughs> so one reason I just twisted the two main wires together. So if it does, I just pull on them and disconnect it. And uh, I'll do a proper job when the time comes. More amps. Those three batteries together could pump out. It'd be interesting to. I don't have any sort of meter that can test for amps. I really should get one, I think. Uh, oh, that's what I want to do just before I go. I couldn't remember if this 6 volt battery was charged or not. Because this car charger I've got in here does 6 volt as well. So I'm just going to quickly test this. So I'm going to turn the camera off for a little while. We have 6.4 volts. So that is charged. Does it say what the cycle use is? Oh, 7, so it could do with a bit more of a charge, I should think. Well, it ain't far off. And I've had that sitting idle like that for I don't know how long now, and it's uh, taking charge. And, uh, I suppose while I've got the battery charger out, I might as well charge up all the other batteries I've got. I've got those two old motorbike ones down there. I know they're old, but they might still take charge. You'd be surprised with batteries. Some of them will die with age and others will just keep bloody going. I've got a red one here. This was actually on a um, child's battery quad bike this one that my friend was going to dump so uh, <laughs> I half inch the battery off it and um, there is some charge in it again it's not completely flat so it should theoretically take charge I hope. just uh, find out I was trying to be clever and it didn't work Oops, throw me probes around. What the f... I've not even got these on anything and I'm getting 0 0.11 volts. I shit you not, look. Oh, it's dropped down to 8, 9. Is that on camera? <laughs> I think my meter's glitching, hang on. There we go, it was glitching somehow. <laughs> oh, it's not too low, four and a half volts. I actually thought that was lower than that. 
that's good because I want one of these if not both to run the lights on the electric bike well that's the plan if I can get the bike going so I'll use one of these to run the lights on the bike that's a 4.5 amp hour that's a 4 amp hour I suppose that half amp hour ain't going to make a lot of bloody difference is it right 20 minutes Jesus, I ramble a lot, don't I? But I got sidetracked anyway with these two little batteries. Right, I'm going to disappear for a few hours then and uh, I'll be back later. Okay, I thought we'd uh, come and check on the battery. See how well we are charging. Let's take that one off. Probe and we'll see how well it's getting there. Eleven point two one volts. <clears throat> Hasn't quite been on for three hours yet, but two and a half hours, so I reckon by about one o'clock in the morning that should be charged. What have we got in the one um, I just had you sitting on. Hey, look make use of the two batteries there. What have we got in this one again? 9.62 volts. They were all roughly in that region. <clears throat> I've just been looking again on eBay. Now that I spelt power bike correctly. Um, there isn't many on there. There's one identical to mine. Um, and they want 500 odd quid for it. <laughs> uh, I definitely wouldn't get 500 quid in the state this is in at the minute. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. I've been trying to find an ignition barrel that I could fit on there so I could actually do it properly. Um, but unfortunately, that has not been successful. <sighs> so, um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do other than throw an ordinary switch onto it. I don't know why I came back in here. I was going to look for something. That was right, look for a key, but it's not worth it now. <laughs> Bro broke the ignition barrel anyway. Oh. And that bit's fallen out. See, that's all it is. It's those two wipers that go between um, six copper contacts. <clears throat> I can't remember where I put the... Um, base of the ignition switch now but that's all it did two of them shorted the blue and yellow wires together and uh, the other one shorted the brown and red together so that's all I've done but obviously I need some juice in the batteries otherwise it's not going to work you know tossed the barrel down here and that bit fell out so that's all it does All it does just rotates those two wiper contacts. <sighs> well, like I said, I'll just mount a switch in that hole. I may have to use some washers or something to shrink that hole down, or just drill another hole in there so I could mount a push button switch or something. Provided I could get this, is only rough by the way, just so I can get it to work. Um, there's no point doing a good job on it yet if it's not going to work. <laughs> so I'm just roughly doing things and you know roughly connecting wires together so I can get it to work. Once it's working I can put it all together properly. Excuse me. I'm actually quite looking forward to getting it to go. 
Finding a charger won't be a problem. There's plenty of 36 volt chargers with various connectors on eBay. Batteries, you still get those. They're expensive to replace. Uh, for a set of three, I found on eBay they were asking £128 for a set of three. Uh, and I bet if I actually searched for the lead acid batteries, because I didn't actually do a search for the batteries, I just found them amongst parts and stuff. But yeah, if I actually do a battery search, I could probably find others maybe a bit cheaper. But uh, these batteries still seem to be good, so I shouldn't need spares for a while. I hope. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I definitely think it's worth um, playing with at least and making it work. I mean, if I've got to have a switch on there and risk some prick coming along and turning it on to flatten the battery, then that'll be a risk I'll take. If it means it's going to get it going. I've got the module out of it, the controller module. That's what this is. Still can't remember which way around the friggin' wires go. Well, the two there's only one two pin, so it's obvious where the blue and yellow cable goes. Um, but there is no indication with the other ones, and uh, I forgot. <laughs> but one's a sensor and one's for the controller, so obviously if they don't work one way, then I'll just swap them around and get them to work another. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. It shouldn't. At least I freaking hope not anyway. <sighs> so you've got one blue and one green. The green one comes up to the throttle. That's the throttle control. That one, which is in some thicker um, outer insulation, probably because it runs down here goes down to a sensor thing down there. I think it's a sensor, I'm not sure. Does it tell when the bike is in motion so you can only use the bike when you're pedalling along? Maybe? So you can't actually use it as like a twist and go electric bike? I don't know. I'll tell you what though, that big ass seat is rather comfortable. I've seen them as well. Um, because I did an image search and people have put panniers on the back so I may actually hang my panniers on the back of this because that would be perfect for that it's just going to be a toy <laughs> uh, I'll get the custom, well once I've got it working and if I can get it working I'll start work on the custom lights uh, well, I might as well pull a box out and show you what I've got planned light-wise. Mm, it's gone dark. There we go. It's still dark outside because Victory still hasn't fixed the fucking light out there. Even though I was told it was booked for the 14th, which is te technically still today because it's only about 11.30 at night. But uh, I first reported that before Christmas, so I think it's taking the fucking piss now that they can't come out and replace a fucking light bulb. Pardon the French, but that is ticking me off. Because if anyone was out there wanting to create mischief or steal from my trailer or anything, I can't see who it is. I can't see stuff all out there. The lights by the doors only really light up around the doors. I've got a few options of lights in here. I'll show them in a minute. It's just easier for me to fish them out first. Okay then, I'll just uh, show you these. I'll just grab you. 
I've got ones like that I could put on the bullet style. I was thinking that one on the mud guard. But initially, because that one hasn't got a switch, I was thinking of using this one because it's got a switch on the back. So I could mount it on the front of the bike, run one pair of these wires go out to the battery, or well, originally the dynamo, and the other would go to the rear light. Uh, I'll probably rewire this inside here, actually, and make a nice tidy job. But that was. That's the idea. I think that would work well enough, to be honest. I can't remember what two wires do what, though. Um, I could use one of these, but uh, that would actually mean I'd have to mount a switch on the bike. Which I could do. It'd be extra work, but I could do it. Because I could just drill a hole in that plastic casing and mount the switch on there. Uh, but I've got some more of those buried in here. I don't know what brand that one is. I think it's a French Subitez brand. Can't. There is writing on it, but I can't see it. Uh, but I do have some uh, Union ones. I think they're in that box under there, not the headlamps. Oh. <laughs> Oops. The Union headlamps are in there, like I said, they're buried in the bottom. Oh, get under there, you bitch. Did I put the lights in? Yeah, I did put the lights in here. So I've got dynamos in here, but I don't see the point in putting a dynamo on them. Everything else is battery, I might as well run the lights from a battery. Although, I could run this as a, you know... <laughs> Connect this to a little charging circuit and charge up the 6 volt battery, I suppose. If I really want to. Ooh. That one I could bolt on it somewhere. I've got loads of these, you know, I could put a pair of these on the back if I wanted to. Which... Is a possibility, or might be another option. This one, it's actually a relatively new one. This one, that's why I might opt for that one. Actually, there's another one, <laughs> got loads of those. Told you I had loads of those ones. There's another one, these are just a spare. That's not counting what's in the uh, big yellow tub under there. Anymore. No, that's a piece of shit. I ain't putting that on there. Okay, yeah. well, that dinky little thing. It's quite an interesting and unique one, isn't it? The wire just bolts onto this piece. This bit unscrews and that's where the wire goes. And obviously it'll earth out on this. <laughs> and you'd have a bracket much like... Well, I've bodged on this one actually. I'd take that off and I'd put it on this. And that's how that would work. I've got all sorts in here. I've got brackets. I've got this old bracket. Should I want to? Uh, actually, I will need that for the front lamp. Fork brackets. I think that's it for lights from the look of it. So, what I'm going to do. Another one there, another dinky old one. Oh. Just uh, take these through and show you what I intended to do. I don't know if the mudguard one's going to work unless I drill a hole in the mudguard to mount this one in a slightly different position. Not this exact one because this one's a bit rough. I could actually go buy a brand new one, they're cheap enough in Roy's. But for the rear, oh, actually, actually, I think that might be at an all right angle, to be honest. That's what I want to do with that one, for the tail light. Then again, you know, there's no reason why I couldn't bolt, well, apart from having the panniers on there, but there wouldn't have been no reason why I couldn't have uh, 
bolted that one on there along with it so I had two rear lights I mean I could easily mount dynamo lights on this if I really wanted to and ran, run them from the dynamo but like I said I've got the equipment I do need a different switch though I might have to go on eBay and find some switches uh, so I don't think that well, I know this one's not going to be man enough. That's only a 5 amp switch. Uh, considering how thick those wires are, yeah, I think I need a better switch. I think I'd be better putting something like a 10 amp on there or something. Uh, yeah. That is my plan. And actually, for £3, yes, that's how much these cost. This. Unless the Roy's have put the price up, but these did cost like three pounds, so I could just go and buy a new one to stick on this, and a new headlight actually, if I really wanted to. But then I wouldn't have the switch. And I actually think this silver one, if I just if I change the bracket because I didn't put the reflector, I actually think that one with the. Um, Outer cables rooted where they're meant to be as well. <laughs> well, they're meant to go through those holes. But uh, what I'd do is just... With the other bracket I've got... I've got a handlebar bracket. Did I bring that through? No, I didn't. But I've got a bracket that I'd swap this one for to mount that. And uh, they have holes in, so I'd put all these through the hole. Hopefully. Yeah, I could, because that wire would come out of there, wouldn't it? So I can thread that through. The brake cable will easily come off, so that'll be easy enough to thread through. Yeah. I can... I'll at least keep most of them out of the way as I tuck them behind the light. Or zip tie them. You know, I could uh, do that. And then zip tie them to the bracket, actually. That might save a bit of a... Uh, faffing about to be honest I don't know I'll decide that when I get to it I ain't got that far yet anyway can't wait to get it to work and I'll just hope that isn't busted Right, what's the time? It's nearly 12, yeah. I'm going to give that battery till about 1 o'clock. And I'm going to take it off charge for the night because I don't want to be asleep while it's charging, just in case it overcharges or anything. Or anything happens to it, I'd rather be awake, so I'll take it off charge. Uh, I've had a bit of a midnight snack, just a couple of sausage rolls. Watching some YouTube vids. Apart from that, I haven't really done a lot. Helper cat has been helping me. <laughs> do I need those tires for anything? No, I don't think. Oh yes, I do. Yes. Oh yeah, I do. I just remembered. <laughs> that suspension bike needs a new back tire, so yes, I do need one of these. I don't know which one though. Not that one. Because that's part of a pair, so I'm not separating that. It'll be this one then. That one I can put aside and I can take that down and do that tomorrow. It's not hard to change a tire and loosen off those rear brakes, or that both brakes, because they're a bit tight. They're rubbing a bit too much. Didn't, uh. Pardon me. Ooh. Ooh, my bum's rather vocal at the minute. Anyway. Yeah, I've got this one here. I completely forgot about this one. Although that's not a very good one, to be honest. The lens is... was in the kitchen. Don't ask, I don't know why it ended up in the kitchen. There's the reflector I broke. You see, I broke the bolt off. 
I must have got caught on something in the car when I was trying to get the bike out and it just went ping. I might as well go in the bin because it's no good now. Ooh, that plastic's rather brittle. I might have been why that twang then. Right. Uh, oh, pardon me. Did I turn my meter off? <coughs> yep. If only I had clips on the other two chargers, I could be charging th all three of these up at the same time. <sighs> well, suppose I could bodge <laughs> the wires on it there if I really, really wanted to. <clears throat> but uh, I don't really, really want to, to be honest. Could. I might. <laughs> Not tonight though. Because I could charge the other two up side by side if I did that. Right, I'm going to call it a night so uh, I might do some more work on Cat's Racer tomorrow. As soon as I can't really do much on the electric bike yet. Got the mud guards. Might even do some work on mine in there as well. Depends how I feel. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And thanks in advance to those that do. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.